carry. He'll get come to the near side, get the five, and into the end zone, touchdown. Seven-yard touchdown run for number 22. That's going to be Christian L. Berry. And it looks like we got an injured Barron here on the near side of the near the goal line. It's going to be number 11 for the Barons. That's uh, on a knee right now. Talking to one of his coaches. That's uh, Delaric Williams. And he's on his feet. He'll come to the sidelines. Now, correction, that's going to be, I think, 91 or 31. It's 31 uh, was the injured Baron. That uh, don't have a third. Oh, there we go. 31 is uh, Vance Smoot Arnold. Uh, but he's here on the sidelines. He's got his helmet off, but he's talking. He's standing on his own. Extra point try coming up here for the Predators. Takes the snap, and the extra point is good. 13 for the Predators, 0 for the Barons. Keep it here. We're going to step away. We'll be right back here on Tie for Radio. More action coming your way. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio, a leader in the awards and recognition industry since 1972. Their mission is to provide their customers with a wide variety of high-quality, competitively priced awards. They have awards for sports, scholastics, employment, you name it, they've got it. Trophies, plaques, badges, pins, and much, much more. With the advancements in technology and the internet, Monarch Trophy Studio has quickly become one of the leading premier online award retailers. Monarch Trophy Studio is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association and proud provider of all TIFA awards, including the Dale Morgan Trophy. Visit Monarch Trophy Studio in their 30,000 square foot state-of-the-art production facility located at Highway 281 in Thousand Oaks in San Antonio, Texas. Contact them toll-free at 1-800-364-7903 or by email at sales at mtsawards.com. Check them out on their interactive website at www.mtsawards.com. That's mtsawards.com. Monarch Trophy Studio in San Antonio. Come get your trophy at Monarch Trophy. And welcome back. Here's the kick. It's a sky ball, and it's not going to go the 10 yards. And the Predators will jump on it, and that should be a penalty. It'll be downed at about the 45-yard line. That'll be the best field position the Barons have had yet this game. So first down for the Barons. They're going to spot it, it looks like, at about the 44-yard line. They're down 13-0 here. They've had three fumbles, two of them lost to the Predators, and they've capitalized on it. Under center. It looks like an empty backfield. They got two slots here to the near side. And again, a fumble on the exchange between the center and the quarterback, and they're just not holding on to this football. 
Barons will recover it. Gonna bring up second down, loss of about a yard on the play, second and 11. Takes the snap, hands it off, and nice job in the backfield. Like number 22 on the stop for the Predators. That's going to be Christian L. Berry as he gets in the backfield, catches him up from behind. Ball spotted now at the 39 yard line of the Barons, third down. Takes a snap, rolls out here on the near side at the 50. And he'll get wrapped up, taken down, short of the first down, number 64 on the carry for the Barons. That's going to be Lincoln Freiburg. And number four for the Predators making the stop, Adrian Wilson Jr. But that is a nice run by 64 as he finally gets a little breathing room for this Barons offense. And it'll be short of the first down by about a yard, two yards. That's going to bring up fourth down. That's going to bring up fourth and about two from the Barons. Quickly to the line, come to Barron. Shotgun formation takes the snap. And it'll be a quarterback keeper 64 again. Tries to turn the corner. He's not going to get there. They'll get him down at the 49. He'll lose about a yard on the play as they spotted at the 48 after that last play. Turnover, Predators football. They'll take over at their own 49. So first down for the Predators at their own 49-yard line. A, a Barron's offense looked like it's starting to uh, get moving. We'll see if they can keep that up. Quarterback number four for the Predators under center. That's Adrian Wilson Jr. I formation, off I formation for the Predators. Takes the snap, hands it off to his tailback. Number five, he'll go to the far side of the field. Looks, turn the corner, breaks a couple tackles. He's not going to get away from that one, though. He gets stopped. They'll lose about a yard on the play. Um, Alexander Payne on the carry for the Predators. He's going to bring up second down. Loss of about a yard, maybe half a yard on the play. And whistles blow. What do we got here? And that's going to end our first quarter of play. 13 for the San Antonio.